Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to plant a pomegranate from the cutting and this is a pomegranate that um, um, I like, I have a few cuttings already planted but this one I want to plant now and that's why I have a, another opportunity to make a video so I'm going to get one um, cutting and then we're going to go from, from there okay back now and uh, basically what I'm going to be doing with this branch we're going to be getting rid of um, all those sm small branches, the small branches right here on the side. We don't need any of that. So we're going to be just cutting it and all the leaves, everything. Just going to be getting rid of everything right here. So that's not going to be distracting the plant, the cutting from making new roots. So, about, okay, you can hear the cat now, it's a mating season, so we have cats going crazy. Okay, so now, here we have, we have our branch that we want to use, and basically we need about three nuts, one, two, three. I'm going to be using a little bit more, I'm going to be going up to five, so I'm going to be putting those under the ground so that can get rooted. And we're doing it, one, two, three, four, five, up to here. Okay, now you have to remember where we cut it, cut it on this side from the tree, so that's the way we have to put it in the ground. I'm using it for the rooting hormone. You can go ahead and use a rooting hormone that they sell in a store. I personally prefer to use um, honey. It's more healthy, natural, and it does work for me. Some people use stuff just because um, they, they want to make sure that they get better result. And that's all it counts. Once you get the result that you want, that's all you need. So I would just dip the end. I just dip the end in the honey and this way I already have a potting soil here and in the potting soil I have three holes right there pre-made so I just can nicely very slow put it in so the honey stays on the end here just put it in we have two knots inside and one is going, I'm just going to push it more in a little bit here. Now I'm going to make two more. Now we have two more. And now as well, we're going to put it in a honey. One. And then we're going to stick that in. And then there's another one. Just going to stick that in. And all the way in. And now we're gonna press and water. And this is very easy. The only thing now is left to do is water it and watch it. You have to water it in about a month or two months from now, you're gonna have start getting leaves. Not all the time that you get leaves means that there are roots in there, but about from a month or two months from now, there should be roots going and this this cuttings those cuttings so are supposed to go they they're gonna go into the greenhouse i have a greenhouse so i'm just gonna be keeping them in the greenhouse all the time and water them if you don't have a greenhouse you can put it uh, you can put it in a warm place and with not a lot of sun exposure or no sun exposure better and just cover it with a bag so that's going to create the greenhouse effect and it's going to give opportunity for the um, for the cuttings to root and once it roots you can replant it to a different container so now I have here different pomegranates going I planted it um, three months ago but that was a winter and in the winter right um, in the winter they don't they don't make roots that that fast so it took three months 
and they have already healthy beautiful branches right here so I want to check and see how how's it going okay this one didn't do anything yet okay let's see another one so I didn't do that one let's see okay this one on the bottom right here I have to wash it so you can see it let me wash it off so you can see where the roots are coming right there let me wash it just I'll pause it for a minute and I'll, I'll be back so here there are two of them and two cuttings this one has a branch but it's not it's not big yet at the other hand it doesn't have it did not form any any buds on the bottom for the roots and I see that plant is getting more damaged but I still gonna give it a chance and still gonna put some more I'm gonna just cut this part and put that back in try to see if that's gonna work but this one already start forming the roots if you see right here the buds for the roots and it's already there it looks very nice and healthy and there is one over here right there and here so that one is really going great so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put that back in and wait for another as I mentioned it was planted in uh, right before the winter in winter actually and that's why it could be uh, it still don't have doesn't have the roots it's my other plants that I planted at the same time already have lots of roots but this one is still working on it technically there are roots but um, I want to see the growing roots before I replant it to a bigger pot so I'm just gonna keep it in the same place and uh, let it work on its on its roots this one is gonna cut that piece off and put more honey on it for its own protection and put it back in I really like this one it's a very sweet and good pomegranate pomegranates are very very healthy has lots of anti-accident so that's that's how it is so um, thank you for watching my video and um, if you like the video give the thumbs up and please subscribe for more videos and I have other videos um, about uh, different fruits and different um, uh, plants that I plant from cuttings or from the seeds thank you for watching the video have a good day bye happy planting